As you might remember, earlier we touched on the query language SQL. In this video, you'll see SQL in action and finally learn what you can do with it by taking a look at some examples of specific queries. I guess you can call this the SQL SQL. We'll try to make this one at least as good as the first. Remember, SQL can do lots of the same things with data that spreadsheets can. You can use it to store, organize, and analyze your data, among other things. But like any good SQL, it is on a larger scale, bigger, more action-packed. Think of it as supersized spreadsheets. For example, you might want to consider a spreadsheet when you have a smaller data set, like 100 rows. But if your data seems to go on forever and your spreadsheet is struggling to keep up, SQL would be the way to go. When you use SQL, you'll need a place where the SQL language is understood. If you've ever gone somewhere and not known the language, it can be challenging to communicate. You might think you're asking for one thing and get something completely different. Well, SQL knows that feeling. SQL needs a database that will understand its language. So let's talk. There are a number of databases out there that use SQL. You may use several of them during your time as a data analyst. But here's the thing. No matter which database you use, SQL basically works the same in each. For example, in SQL, queries are universal. We've talked about queries before, but it never hurts to have a refresher. A query is the way we use SQL to communicate with the database. Here's the structure of a basic query. You can see that with this query, we can select specific data from a table. By adding where, we can filter the data based on certain conditions. All right, let's get started. We'll open our database and see how SQL can communicate with it to do some simple data tasks. First, Let's select our data. We'll use an asterisk to select all of the data from the table. And with that simple query, the database calls up the table we need. Magic. Let's add where to the query to show how that changes what data we get. You can see that the data now only shows movies that are in the action genre. And that's it. A basic query in SQL. Pretty cool, huh? There are plenty of other commands that you'll use in queries as you continue. For now, though, we can celebrate learning about three big ones, select, from, and where. As you continue the program, you'll have the opportunity to use SQL yourself. So I hope that this video was a useful sneak peek at what's coming later. Like with any new language, learning it takes time. And now, it's time to move on.